welcome to Horrorverse. My name is Cody Hawk, and today we'll be talking about the 2018 horror comedy Bloodfest, directed by Owen Egerton, I think is how you pronounce it. It also stars Robbie Kay and Jacob Balton, um, which you might remember, I think Jacob Balton is the one that stars in Spider-Man Homecoming. Um, I know he is in this movie, but I don't know if that's his, I think that's his name, I'm not 100%. Um, but, so those are the two biggest names in this movie. There's a couple of characters that you might recognize from other things, but not very big roles. Um, I would say the kid from Spider-Man Homecoming, um, Ned, as he's in that, is probably the biggest name in this movie. Um, but this is an interesting movie. It came out the same, about the same time as Hellfest. If you guys have ever seen that movie, I personally, I was okay with Hellfest. Not the best movie in the world, but it wasn't that bad. And what's interesting with uh, Bloodfest, which is what we're talking about today, is I'm pretty sure it's one of those movies, if you notice, whenever a horror movie or different other movies are about to come out, there's always a lower grade <laughs> version of that movie. Like, it's done a lot with horror movies. And I think about a few times with Annabelle and ghost movies and stuff like that. There's always a lower grade that goes straight to DVD. And I'm fairly certain that's what Bloodfest was because it just randomly showed up at uh, Walmart where I work at and a lot of times I'll pick up those movies just to check them out and I did Bloodfest and I absolutely loved it way better than Hellfest in my opinion whether it's the downgrade version or not a lot more entertaining and more funny considering Bloodfest is more like a horror comedy, black comedy whereas Hellfest is more serious horror movie um, which I would usually prefer a more serious horror movie but they just did not do a good job in Bloodfest. I loved it. It's an amazing movie. <coughs> Excuse me. But they're both kind of the same stories. Um, there's a few different things in each one of them. And like I said, I'm not going to talk about Hellfest, though. I'm just comparing them because they're so much the same. Um, but for Hellfest, they just go to a um, horror... I mean, I know it's Hellfest, Horror Fest, where just scary things. Kind of like... Um, Halloween Horror Nights, if you guys know what that is, from Orlando and in California and stuff like that, kind of the same thing. Whereas in um, Bloodfest, well, one, there's a little bit more of a backstory of Bloodfest. You find out the main character, his mom got murdered um, and by a serial killer that did something with the psyche that made him actually in, fall in love with the horror genre, which I don't know how that's kind of weird, but I kind of get it at the same time. Um, but you get that backstory, so there's more in-depth story with that. Um, but with this one, it's more of like a horror movie festival, I guess. Like, it's not necessarily just a haunted house. It's people going to celebrate all these different fake horror movies for the movie. Um, but to them, you know, real horror movies. And those iconic... So, I guess... I know I'm kind of going back and forth, but I guess, really, um... Uh, Bloodfest is more like real life Halloween Horror Nights, whereas in it's a haunted house, but you see characters that are actually from movies that you watch. Whereas in Hellfest, just kind of random, dressed crazy people, you know, following you and scaring you and stuff like that. Um, but overall, I love the movie, like I said, but you have to be a fan of that B rated horror to enjoy this movie because you get that crazy um, blood splatter like um, Evil Dead and stuff like that. You get that ridiculous amount of blood, the very close-up, like, decapitation and stuff like that. So you have to be a fan of that type of horror. And I am. I love B-rated horror movies. One of my favorite type of movies. I mean, my favorite, one of my top favorite horror movies is Evil Dead 2. And that's got B-rated all over it. Bruce Campbell and that. Um, which I just recently met, by the way. Just kind of throwing that out there. I was very happy about that. Um, but yeah, so a really good movie, um, but I guess I'll give you a little bit of the plot. No, I kind of already explained it, but, um, basically, the main character and his friends get tickets to this, um, blood fest, and like I said, it's a, kind of like a Halloween Horror Nights where you go in there and celebrating your favorite horror movies, and also Haunted House at the same time, and you find out that y'all got brought there to get killed. I mean, I'm not going to go super in-depth with the story in case you do want to watch it. But it's mainly it. They brought everybody there to murder them for, on live TV. I mean, um, whereas in Hellfest, you know, it was just a serial killer. One. Or, yeah, one. Just kind of 
chasing these people around. Whereas in Bloodfest is more widespread, you know, there's hundreds of people there killing people, different dressed in clowns, zombie stuff like that, just going out and killing people. And the main group of friends are using their horror knowledge, which is another thing I really like in this movie, is they point out the cliche tropes of horror movies, you know, splitting up, stuff like that. Um, and they point that out, you're like, you know, and they're pointing out, we don't need to do this because people die when they do that in horror movies, which I really like that. They kind of point it out, you know, to show their horror knowledge is what they use to survive. Which is a lot like another movie that I might re review here soon that I actually loved, which was another just random on the shelf movie um, called uh, I Think I Might Be the Killer. Or I Think You're the Killer. Something like that. I don't remember exactly. Um, kind of the same concept, but amazing movie. Like I said, it's just a B rated. Found it really at Walmart. Um, yeah, it's a Bloodfest. Great movie. Um, no CGI that I remember. Um, it's been a little bit since I watched it. But I think for the most part, everything is practical effects, which is another plus for me. Um, now, I mean, like I said, it's still not a great movie. You know, I mean, nowadays it's really hard to find a perfect horror movie all around. It's got some problems. Um, some bad dialogue, stuff like that. Some bad villains, I guess you'd call them. Um, I guess that would be a big spoiler if I won't say that part. Um, but overall, very enjoyable to watch. Definitely a movie you can just pop in at any point and watch it, whether you want to pay attention or not, and you're going to enjoy it. So I highly recommend it. I'm assuming it's on digital. I'm not sure. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon, stuff like that. I found it at Walmart like a year ago, maybe two years ago. Or I guess it's been about a year ago because it came out last year. Um, so if you can find it and you like those B-rated black comedy type um, movies, I would definitely check it out. Um, but for a rating, like I said, I mean... There's only a couple of things I didn't like, like I just pointed out, um, but overall for what it is, it's perfect. I mean, if you're comparing it to that type of movie, you know, like an Evil Dead type movie, it did great. Um, so honestly, like I said, I love the movie, so honestly, I'm going to give this movie a 9 out of 10. Um, like I said, if I really want to critique it, I would probably be lower, because this is a horror movie channel, this isn't like a broad movie review channel, I'm not comparing these movies to other movies in different genres these are strictly horror movies so for that i'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. so i hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely go check it out i'm sure you can find it cheap on voodoo or something like that or on amazon and i'll see you guys later